హాయ్ గైస్ దిస్ ఈజ్ వెంకట్ రెడ్డి యు ఆర్ వాచింగ్ జావా మోజో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ ద డిఫరెన్సెస్ బిట్వీన్ జావా డాట్ లాంగ్ డాట్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ అండ్ జావా డాట్ లాంగ్ డాట్ ఎర్రర్ దిస్ జావా డాట్ లాంగ్ డాట్ ఎర్రర్ అండ్ జావా డాట్ లాంగ్ డాట్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ బోత్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ క్లాసెస్ ఆర్ డిరైవ్డ్ ఫ్రమ్ java dot lang dot throwable class even though both of these classes are derived from java dot lang dot throwable there are significant differences between these two classes let's see what are all those differences first let's see what is exceptions this java dot lang dot exception and its subclasses represents logical errors that occurs at run time and this exceptions are mainly caused by application itself if we take null pointer exception this null pointer exception will occur if your application is trying to access a null object and most of the times this exceptions are recoverable in nature let's see what is the meaning of recoverable in nature with an example let us suppose as part of my application i have a requirement to read data from file and create an object out of that file data just i will write code here code to read data from file and create an object out of that file data if that if this file was not available at run time then file not found exception will be thrown we can recover from this exception by using this try catch blocks here we need to write that file not found exception after recovering from this exception there may be a possibility to read data from some other file or we can create an object with dummy file data that's always depends on our requirement this is how we can recover exceptions now let's discuss about errors this java dot lang dot error and its subclasses represents the errors which are mainly caused by environment in which the application is running if we see this out of memory error this generally occurs when jvm runs out of the memory and if we take if we see this unsupported class version error this generally occurs if higher jdk is used to compile a source file and lower jdk is used to run that respective class file if we observe in both of these cases we cannot recover these errors in general errors are not recoverable in nature maybe you might write this you might write this and you may ask me why can't i recover errors this is syntactically correct but this is not exactly recovering errors because like if i get out of memory error somehow we are recovering here but 
there may be a possibility very soon in application somewhere we will get the same exception this is not exactly recovering an error i hope this clears the differences between exceptions and errors let's summarize what we have discussed java dot lang dot exception and its subclasses represents logical errors which are caused by application itself and this exceptions are recoverable in nature on the other hand java dot lang dot error and its subclasses fatal in nature we cannot recover errors these are all the differences between exceptions and errors thanks for watching this video i hope to see you in my next video please subscribe to my youtube channel